Good morning, everyone. How about we shake it a bit up so everyone raises his hand? Please raise your hand. Not just raise your hand. And if anyone has never heard the name Erasmus or doesn't know the Erasmus program, then please drop your arm. <laughs> I obviously have, but. So we see there's quite a vast majority of people who know what the Erasmus program is. Thank you. We are representing the group that tackled yesterday the future of your jobs. And we are happy to present you now your trail of change. But first of all, let's talk about the very important why. We all need purpose in our jobs and in our life. But how can we actually identify what is meaningful to us? A McKinsey study revealed that 70% of employees define their sense of purpose by their work. So we see it's very important. Therefore, I want to ask you, who has already thought of working in a different country? Okay, see it's a lot of people. I think it's great because being, and especially working abroad, means nothing less than broaden your horizon. It helps you to discover new cultures, see new possibilities in your job, and get out of your daily working routine. So as the majority of you knows, know the people Erasmus, we want you to know our project better. Erasmus pour les professionnels, or shorter EPP. The purpose of the program is to advance your career. EPP offers you to develop new skills, to discover job opportunities abroad, and also to extend professional network and meet new friends. This makes it a really fulfilling experience. And with that combined, it makes it a project of a lifetime. You, it cannot be missed. So we, we invite you to be a part of it. For the first time, young professionals can transcend, travel and thrive. Expanding their skills, exploring Europe and evaluating and elevating their career. This will provide an invaluable experience, challenging ideals, broadening new horizons and bringing our European family closer than ever before, helping people to find purpose in their work life and happiness in their personal life. So now how do we implement this vision? A key point, yes, a key point is to have a similar structure like in the already existing Erasmus program, which is well established and has proven its worth. Thereon, three parameters have to be established. The first one being that the program will take, in, will take place in every EU member state, allowing the participants to travel all abroad and within the EU. The second is that during, your, during the program, you will not just focus on one task, but rather on explore abroad range of tasks, of skills that you can develop by workshops and by different workplaces, thereby gaining new skills, improving the skills that you already have and allowing you to find out what is meaningful for you. And the third parameter is that the program is meant for every young professional. We deserve an opportunity to develop our skills even further. And the target is to support us with new experiences that will help us in building our careers. And here is the Kickstarter for our campaign. The EPP project has the same well-known structure as already existing Erasmus project, but with three key main different parameters. Firstly, the EPP is for every working person. The EPP opens the door to explore different countries on a trial of adventure. And lastly, the EPP challenges you to discover new skills. So, so join the EPP.
So we invite you to write your ideas and wishes for the project under the hashtag TOC, Trail of Change. And let's make this another success, success story by the EPP group. Thank you. Well done, guys. Isabel, would you like to make some comments about this? No? Yeah, just, just a couple of impressions. That's number 10 on the microphone. So um, it's impressive what you get to do. In, you don't have so much time to do this, so it's really it's impressive what you did. Um, I, uh, I find that you have really the energy, and uh, showing the EPP like that, it's really it's amazing. So I wish you all the luck. <laughs> Thanks, Isabel. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, let's take some questions or some comments. Yeah, I can see 572, 573. Sir, stand, state your name. So, thank you for your presentation. I think it discusses about um, really important topics for the European youth. But the thing I... I think that it's not really the matter about this kind of upskilling because it already exists under the Erasmus umbrella, in particular the Erasmus Plus umbrella. I think it should be developed a portal for upskilling the youth with high demanded skills that are really technical, such as uh, software engineering, uh, maybe disruptive technologies such as blockchain and 3D modeling also because it's really high, high demand and it's really difficult to upskill in such a field. So I want to uh, thank you again for the, the topic you discussed and I would like to hear your thoughts about this. Thank you. Thank you for a very interesting question. Our idea was that we include people who are left out of Erasmus. A lot of people love Erasmus, but once they graduate, if they're not working in academia, they cannot be part of it. And this is meant for every young professional, from bricklayers to lawyers, after they graduate, to gain new skills, whether it's... <laughs> whether it's in technological sector, or just to see how their work is done in another country and maybe learn a new language. So, thank you. Wonderful. Uh, I can see a hand here on 192. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, yes, yeah, so I think the presentation was very interesting. However, I have one question. Uh, I wonder who is going to employ these young people because I didn't really catch that. Are they going to be employed by universities, uh, EU structures, by the EPP? Uh, if you could explain them, thank you very yes. much. Thank you for your question, first of all. I think the main idea is that there's rather having a frame system. So you will be assigned to a mentor. The mentor will help you, guide you through that year, assessing what are your goals, which stations do you want to go to. And the idea is that these uh, Erasmus Pro Professionnel is basically given to the companies saying they are skilled laborers, they want to explore new things. Would you be interested in taking part of that system? So it will be actually like workstations of universities, but also companies which are willing to stage these internships. Okay, I think we've got time for one third question here. If the, yeah, please, 35. Um, first of all, thank you for your presentation. I love the idea. Just raise the microphone a little bit. I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah. I love the idea. As a young professional, I would most definitely stop scrolling. The only thing I wanted to mention is to maybe make it good. As we have more and more young entrepreneurs and startups, I would make it also ideal for them. Because as of the management side of a startup, if I would hire somebody and I would have to fear that my new force is going to leave me at any time, I would not like this idea. I would stop scrolling the idea only because I, wanted, I would want to throw some harsh criticism in because I wouldn't want you to steal my new forces, of course. So some kind of uh, compensation or anything for young entrepreneurs would be awesome to include as well. Thank you. Thank you for your question. We completely agree and we meant and set this project to be an opportunity to bring fresh ideas. So we're, we weren't looking from the perspective, oh, somebody is going to leave. No, 
we're looking from the perspective somebody is coming back with more knowledge and even more powerful worker than before. Thank you. Hey. Great work, guys. Thanks so much for presenting. Um, just to say hi to Maria Walsh, who's arrived. Um, as I said, there were... <laughs> <laughs> it's nice getting cheers, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, all right. Um, okay, so now we're going to open the vote. Um, so remember the question is, would this stop you from scrolling? That is the question that you're being asked. The vote is open. Please make your vote known as soon as you can. We want to move on relatively quickly. Um, so cast your vote as soon as you can. Remember, obviously, green in favour, that it would stop you from scrolling. And that being a good thing. White for abstention and red for against. Their eyes check the lights across the room. <laughs> it's really difficult to tell, though, right? Different sections. OK, we'll close it in a few seconds. Final seconds of the voting. The vote is closed. Let's have the result. Okay, so 120 in favour, not too bad. 141 against and 40 abstentions. Let's see if it gets you through. Massive round of applause. Well done, team.